what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? We got a dude on stage at a comedy event. I can't tell if it's a comedy club or what type of establishment it is, but I can tell you one thing that was established. He absolutely bombed. The dude told a joke and the audience was like, huh? I heard, I actually heard, <laughs> I actually heard a female say, huh? <laughs> Oh man, now family, y'all know I do comedy. I'm talking about like, we'll put it like this, I know comedy. I'm pretty much a comedy connoisseur. I have watched so many comedians get on that stage, especially amateur comedians, because I like to watch the rise of the comic. You know, hit those very first jokes when they're in their infant stages, when they're trying to joke out. I like that type of comedy. So anyway, it didn't go well. So dude, what did he do? Did he just gracefully buy? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> he cussed the crowd out. Dude cussed the crowd out. Now, the reason why I thought this was worth bringing to you guys' attention is because there was a time when I got on the stage and things didn't go well. They just did not go as planned. I absolutely bombed and I cussed the crowd out. <laughs> I'm talking about cussed them out. I got on stage, it was a club called Flashes in Houston. This is the early days of hip hop. So I'm in this rap battle and I get on stage and I do my rap a cappella. This is the way the rap battle used to work was you do a regular rap first and then if you survive the first round, you go into the second round and you actually battle against uh, two other contestants. So I get on stage, I ain't got no music. I'm trying out a new rap I just wrote. <laughs> but, but when I say they booed me, they booed me. Cuss the crowd out. And I was like, yeah, mother, mm -mm, I'll be back. Slam the mic. Well, I was mad. I left, I came back the following week. I didn't get booed. I didn't win, but I didn't get booed either. So I made some progress. The only reason why I came back because I'm the type of person I don't like being embarrassed and I felt embarrassed and I felt that I had to redeem myself as soon as I could. So that's why I came right back. It was just strictly out of pride. And the thing that I did was I made an adjustment. I said, well, one of the mistakes that I made was I didn't bring my music. So the next time I had music and I did a whole new rap. Now, why is this important? It's important because you have to understand that sometimes when you are taking a chance on something, you're trying to pursue a goal, it may not always go as planned. And you may find yourself having an embarrassing moment where other people actually witness your failure. And it could cause you to give up. I hope this guy doesn't give up because if nothing else, you got to give him an A for effort because he really thinks 
that his jokes are funny. And, you know, maybe with a little critiquing, he can get there. But if nothing, he got confidence, if nothing else. And a lot of that starts with confidence. Because I've seen people who are really not that talented, but they have a great level of confidence. And you can't tell them nothing. And that confidence spills over to a fan base. Other people get it. It's infectious. You know, and people feel it. And it resonates with them. I was talking to Big Daddy Kane yesterday. And we had a conversation about this guy who sung on one of my songs way back in the day. And Big Daddy Kane was like laughing at how he was singing, but he said the guy had contacted him and he was like, yeah, I did that. You know, I, you know, you know, I'm one of the greatest ever. And that's one of the greatest songs ever made. And I was on it and blah, blah, blah. And Big Daddy Kane was like, man, I want to meet that guy. I need to talk to that guy because I just want to have a conversation with him because he was so confident. I just need to talk to people that's, that's confident like that. Like, it didn't matter what anybody else thought of him. He thought the world of himself. And a lot of times, that's what it takes to get over that hump, the ultimate confidence in yourself first. So I commend dude for that, but I can tell you cussing out the crowd is not going to work. Some of those people are gonna remember that you cussed them out. And the moment you get on stage, they're gonna already be defensive. So <laughs> you gotta be careful of that. But it's funny as hell and I will put a link in the description for you guys to check out for yourself. I had to share this with you. I mean, one of the funniest things that I've seen in a moment. But I still thought that it was worth sharing with you because I think there's a lesson there. And that is, if nobody else believes in you, believe in yourself. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?